Alright guys, good night. Want to turn off the lights, please? Morning guys, let's go! My name is Shersen Lien. I'm a chef and entrepreneur from Malaysia. We've been invited to Darwin, Australia to be one of the judges of their yearly International Laksa Festival featuring some of the best laksas Australia has to offer. But before we dive into a sea of delicious laksa bowls at the festival, I'm on a mission to uncover some of the secrets behind the scrumptious dish and the people behind it. It's day two and we're taking a detour to explore Darwin like never before. We met up with Costas from the Activate Darwin team to visit one of Darwin's treasure destinations nestled just an hour drive away, Crab Claw Island Resort. But we're not going to just drive to our destination like mere mortals, no. We're going to do it in style, my friends. We're here at Airborne Solutions for an unforgettable adventure. We'll be soaring through the skies of one of the helicopters and getting to Crab Claw Island will take just about 30 minutes. But a really beautiful 30 minutes, if you know what I mean. Who knows exactly what it's going to do, like this could just keep developing up. Um, yeah. Generally what we do is we go out over the city, Yeah. but because that's apparently the only okay way in at the moment, they're not allowing us that way. We'd have to go out this way and back across. Yeah. Um, so we were already overweight to begin with for this helicopter ride, right? But they managed to get the bigger chopper so all of us could go. But the weather today isn't great. So the pilot sort of like, uh, I'll just take three just to be safe. Now, how are we going to decide? The old school way. Tam plum. Yes! Tam plum. See this thing, eh? <laughs> Alright, so uh, we've got our left behind brother. Yeah, it's all good. It's all um, good. Sorry, bro. Don't say anything. Well, our poor friend Bo may not have scored a seat on the chopper, but at least he gets to enjoy the wind in his hair and the bugs in his teeth on the road trip to Crab Claw Island with Costas. But hey, maybe he'll discover some hidden gems along the way, like a kangaroo boxing match, while the rest of us gets to soar above like majestic eagles. Speaking of soaring above, what can we expect from Airborne Solutions? Well, for starters, their choppers are top notch. Which is good news because I don't want to be flying with something that's held together with duct tape and prayer. And the best part? They have packages that caters to your desire. Whether you're looking for a romantic sunset flight over Darwin's coastline or even pub crawling around some of the most exotic locations, these guys have got you covered. Though it's my second time being on a helicopter, I still get nervous. So here's me wishing we'll get to our destination safely. I have complete faith in our pilot. He looks like a superhero. Cool, calm, confident, and doesn't smell of alcohol. So here it goes. Man, the views. It's like being in a Net Geo documentary, except without the creepy voiceover guy. As you fly over the sprawling landscape of Darwin, keep your eyes peeled for saltwater crocs and wedge-tailed eagles. Or maybe even a group of kangaroos doing synchronized swimming in a nearby watering hole. You'll see it all from a bird's eye view that very few people ever get to experience. As we soar through the sky, we can't help but feel like we're in an epic scene from a Hollywood movie. It's breathtaking. So whether you're a seasoned thrill seeker or just looking for a unique way to experience the beauty of Darwin, you guys got to check out Airborne Solutions. We've made it, folks. We've arrived at Crab Claw Island Resort. And this place is an adventure seeker's dream come true. Thank you so, so much. That was wonderful. I'll return your friendly pack. You don't want it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, cheers. That was absolutely beautiful. So, so beautiful. It was nice to fly over Darwin City into the Aboriginal lands and finally here at Crab Claw Island. Half an hour ride. I wish it was a little bit longer, but you know, it's, it was nice. I loved it, enjoyed it. And speaking of mud crabs, we're about to go catch some of the biggest, freshest crustaceans you've ever seen. I mean, these guys are like the LeBron James of crabs. So we're heading out and we're gonna do some fishing and some crabbing. This is where everyone's kind of excited, not just me, but the crew as well, because it's our moment, our small little window 
To be potential millionaire, yes, it's either 10,000 Aussie dollar or a million Aussie dollar. And when I bring it home, man, I don't have to do jack shit anymore. Just enjoy my life. Well, it's either that or I've got three kids, so education sorted at least. It's no secret that the Northern Territory of Australia is home to some of the best fishing in Australia and Crab Claw Island is surely one of the top destinations to do so. The Million Dollar Fish Competition was first introduced in 2015 and this season they've released nine $1 million tag barramundi and a hundred of $10,000 tag barramundi up for grabs. So far, none of the $1 million fish has ever been caught. But we're confident that's all going to change today. But first, let's catch ourselves some crabs. There we go. See the cage? It's coming up. Yes! yes. Hey. Got one fella in here. I'm thinking salted egg or salt bake. None of that Singapore chili crab stuff. Ready to go for a swim crab? Back in. Two, three. Woo, bye. And this is what you call sport crabbing. <laughs> sport. <laughs> Did you see the size of that claw? These things are like the Incredible Hulk of crabs. They are massive. Now back to a million dollar mission. Catching a million dollar fish is easier said than done. You could spend hours, days, even months casting your line hoping to snag up one of these elusive tagged creatures. This is my million dollar bait. But they'll just swim right past you like a big middle finger to your dreams of riches. I'll be lucky to even catch a shoe. This thing is huge! Talk about disappointment. <sighs> Thousands of anglers from around the world flock to Darwin for this event, all with the same goal in mind, to catch that million dollar fish. So if you're up for the challenge, why not give it a shot? Who knows? Maybe you'll be the lucky one to catch that million dollar fish. And we're done. So I caught the million dollar fish. So after this, I'm not going to be doing content for you guys anymore. Because I'm rich! So that was nice. Spent about six hours out there, caught crab. Uh, like I said, got the million dollar fish. We're back here in Darwin's little slice of heaven, Crab Claw Island Resort. The island is known for its breathtaking beauty, with stunning views of the ocean and the surrounding mangroves. It feels like you're living in a postcard. You can spend your days lounging by the beach, taking a dip in the pool, or exploring the island's mangroves and seeing some of Australia's fascinating wildlife. Just watch out for the crops. The restaurant on the property serves some of the freshest and most delicious seafood. From succulent prawns to juicy crabs, you'll feel like you're in seafood heaven. We just have to give it a try. So good. So fresh, nice and charred, get some macadamia in there. Crunch, prawns, succulent. Mm. Mm. So, so happy. Experience, I know it's short, but I appreciate it. Thank you for feeding us. Thank you very, very much. Everyone enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully we'll see each other again. Yeah, please come back. Yeah, another time, and, and same place. It. So, if you're looking for a vacation that's equal parts relaxing and adventurous, 
Krakow Island Resort is the place for you. Just make sure you pack some sunscreen because those crabs aren't going to catch themselves. On the road back to town, we caught a glimpse of the beautiful outbacks of Australia. Well, not so much the road. They're more like a roller coaster ride than anything else. You'll be bouncing and jostling around like a popcorn kernel in a hot pan. Just kidding, it's not all bad. You'll see some of the most stunning sceneries you've ever laid eyes on. Red dirt, towering ant cliffs, and endless skies that stretches out as far as the eyes can see. And if you're lucky, you might even spot a kangaroo or two. Just try not to hit them. All right, so we're back in Darwin to check out some of their famous street arts. This is the best way to check out Darwin City. Let me tell you about the wall graffiti and art installation culture in Darwin. It's like a secret society of renegade artists who are using the city as their canvas. Darwin is home to an annual street art festival called, well, the Darwin Street Art Festival, where each year local and international street artists create stunning murals and installations throughout the city, transforming the urban landscape into a colourful and vibrant art gallery. Everywhere you turn, there are walls covered in colourful tags, intricate murals and witty slogans. It's like a treasure hunt trying to spot all the hidden gems scattered throughout the city. I reckon if you're there to experience the artworks, download the Darwin Street Art Festival app before starting your walk because it tells you the story on the artist and their works. And also brings some of the murals to life using augmented reality. Now that is really cool. Next up, we visited one of Darwin's top foodie spots, Hanuman Restaurant. So we've been invited to dinner tonight at the Hanuman, owned by Jimmy Shu, one of the main judges in the Laksa Festival. And I heard that this is one of the best restaurants in Darwin, and he's prepared something really special for us. So let's go check it out. The Hanuman Restaurant continues to pick up awards year after year for its sensational fusion of Thai and Indian cuisine. But the real star of the show is the chef and owner, Jimmy Shu. He's like a mad scientist in the kitchen. He's asking my background. I said, Roja. Roja. Chinese father, mother from China. And I was born in Sri Lanka. Ah. Australian citizen. Okay. And I'm about to seek asylum in Bali. Because <laughs> I want to relax. So that's it. But all my life I've been doing this. My father had a restaurant in Malaysia. Oh, sorry, in the Sri Lanka. So I've been in kitchen for 55 years. So time wow. to... Time to hang the towel. Jimmy is a total wizard. He can whip up a dish that will make your taste buds sing like an angel choir. And he's got the personalities to match. He's like a cross between a stand-up comedian and a master chef. And then the food starts coming out and you realize he's probably trying to kill us. With love, that is. The oysters are fresh and it's very different. It's Usually we have raw oysters like whole, but this has a warm, a slight temperature to it. Yeah, we grill it under the salamander. Ah. Yeah, not the cold And one. it's got basil, coriander. Correct. Coriander roots in there. Coriander root. And there's lemongrass, fish mm. sauce, lime juice, and some garlic as well. So it's good. on the internet. It's on the internet. <laughs> so if you want to try it at home, guys, it's on the internet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the food just keeps on coming. From fluffy nuns, finger-licking lamb racks, to a lip-smacking Thai-style chili and lime steamed barramundi. Oh, let's not forget the succulent black pepper crabs with claws the size of my head were all cooked to perfection. Juicy. Could make love to this crab. Happy birthday! <laughs> For dessert, they had this dish called the black rice puree that will make you forget your name. So good, classic French creme brulee with Malaysian style pulut hitam at the bottom that's cooked together with santan and gula melaka and daun pandan. Such a delicious dessert. So good. Now this is to me is fusion, not confusion. Correct. <laughs> it's definitely a star-studded lineup we had appearing at our dinner table that night. It was so good and satisfying. I wanted to take a nap right at the table itself. Hey. Hey. So welcome here whenever Thank you guys want. Please come and We will. We will. Thank you. You guys, 
definitely have to check out Hanuman restaurant if you're here in Dalvi. The portions are huge, so come hungry. It was indeed... Uh, I can't explain. It was just so good. And Jimmy, is such humility. Truly one of the best hosts I've ever dined with. And the food that he served, it's, it's not just tasty, it's not just flavorful, but it's all his 55 years of experience. Everything just comes through on the plate, but it's more than just the plate. It's also the way he serves and, and hosts us. I'm so happy beyond words right now. And now we're in for a long walk back to the hotel. The next morning, we visited Darwin's oldest running market, Rapid Creek Business Village. It's a bustling hub of activity with wide range of shops, restaurants and businesses to explore. From quirky boutiques to artisanal cafes. And we were of course greeted by none other than Jimmy Shu, the friendliest of friendly. Situated only 20 minutes from the city, which is the heart of the northern suburbs, the Sunday market offers a variety selection of food from Thai to Sri Lankan. The only problem you have is making a decision. Of course, with Jimmy by his side, he puts his plot to action and orders literally almost everything. <laughs> Stuffed chicken wings, glass noodle inside, vegetables, it's so good. But what the better part of it is the chili. Chili's got a really good kick. Mm. So good. I know I say the word so good a lot, but how can I not when it's really that good? This is so good! My goodness! Thai noodle soup. So nice to have soup. After a week, I'm a Chinaman. I have soup every day almost. I've not had soup in a while. This is really, really comforting. Very good. How is that little thing? So is it okay? Very good. I can have this every day. Huh? The skin and the fat just melts in your mouth. Yeah. Like but uh, it really keeps the meat nice and moist. And this is cooked in so much of collagen that the sauce leaves a mouthfeel in your mouth and in your tongue. Something that I love. You have it on with rice, a little bit of chili. I could have this every single day. So you come here every Sunday every to get Sunday. the produce? Yeah, if there was wet cement, you would have seen a footprint there 30 years ago. <laughs> Jimmy is my superhero. His insights on food and produce is out of this world. I mean, with 50 years of experience as a chef and restaurateur, he has all the flavors up his sleeve and his generosity in sharing all that knowledge is admirable. I use this, you can make sushi, sushi. and wrap it in this. Oh wow. Blanch it and put the sushi. So that's very unusual, so you should try it. And in the sushi, you can put some kunyit, make it nice and yellow color, contrast beautifully, or you can use some bunga talang. Ah. The blue, the blue, blue, blue talang. Yeah. The, the... And then you put the rice and wrap it up in this. I see. Something for you to think about. Laksa leaves. Yeah. Kasum, finally. Okay. Yeah, this is very good, this one here. Do you need any more? I'll come back later and get No, 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 I'll take one now. Yeah. So, are you, do you have a, are you selling mangoes today? Yeah, yeah. Where? Where are you oh, selling? Yeah. So, we're going to get oh, some diary Okay, mangoes. at the far end. Yeah. Okay, all right, we we'll come and get some. When Jimmy talks about food and produce, it's like he's speaking a language that only a chosen few can understand. And let's not forget about the store owners at Rapid Creek Market. It's like a family reunion every time Jimmy shows up. It's simply because these guys have been supplying Jimmy with some of the best produce for years. I was just telling everybody that this is Yao. Hello, 30 Yao. 30 years my supplier. Thank you. Wow. Alison is from, from DFAT in Canberra. She loves Popo. So I said, you want Popo? Come and see my special lady here. Tofu jelly. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I know how tofu they call it. 
<laughs> I know how they call it in the Philippines, Taho. Taho, Taho, yeah. yes. Two, three o'clock in the morning, Taho. Taho. And you, they are the vendors. Yeah, yeah. We've got Durin in Darwin, y'all. Durin. What grade is this? I don't know the name, but the this one, the fresh one, local durian. This is like the durian kampong of Darwin, I'd imagine. They, they don't grade it here? Or, well, at least she doesn't know what grade it is. Nice. Make me butter can it? Cooked chicken. Chicken curry. Yeah, chicken. Chicken curry. Yeah, chicken. 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 So the next time you're here, don't forget to say hi to the man, the myth, the legend himself. And who knows, he might just give you the secret to making the best dang dish you'll ever taste. Next up, the Darwin International Laksa Festival. We're gonna be tasting a ton of different laksas and some of the wackiest, I'm talking about the wackiest, funkiest laksas you'll ever find in the world. 